We're going to talk about relational comparisons, and relational comparisons are a way to look at a number and perform functions or actions based on those numbers. The typical relations that we have over here are equal, greater than or equal to, greater than, less than or equal to, less than, not equal, and range comparisons. You have the comparison function and then the data type. These comparisons down here after our range comparison are for uh, PLCs that we're not, we don't have actually. They don't work with your PLC, your nano micro PLC. Now if you look up here, you have dint for double integer, integer, real, again double integer, integer, and real. And with the uh, our PLCs, it will support the double integer and, integ and integer. Let's go um, look at the less than integer function, less than or equal to integer. I'm going to right click on it and display the help. And the help will come up here and the operation, when the instruction receives power flow, it compares input N1 to input N2. These operations must be of the same data type. If N1 is less than or equal to N2, the instruction passes power to the right. Okay? And it shows you here what type of data types we can use. And it's very simple. Come back over here to the main. You see less than or equal to. So if counter is less than or equal to 25, we will have power here. And you can see right now counter is 36 and climbing which is greater than 25, so we do not have power flow over here. Okay, and if I come back over here, and I'm going to control enter my counter, reset it back to zero. Okay, now we'll see counter is equal to one, two, which is less than 25, and we do have power flow coming out here. Okay. Another comparison is the range. And what that does is that you've got limit 1 and limit 2. And if our input, in this case our counter value, is between limit 1 and limit 2, we will have power flow. You've got limit 1, so if your input is greater than or equal to limit 1 and less than or equal to limit 2, your output will have power flow. Okay, now if we look at this range over here, we can see that it is on. Currently we're at 63, which is between 40 and 75. We'll wait and watch that get up to 75, and our output will, here we go at 75, 76, it turned off. Okay, now for greater than, Again, greater than, we're looking for 75, so we saw at 76, this one turned on, and that will continue on. Again, if, let's take a look at range, int, I'm going to display the help, and okay, it compares the value of input in, which is right here, against the range delimited by operands L1 and L2. Okay. Either L1 or L2 can be the high or low limit, but this is your function right here. When L1 is less than or equal to N, and N is less than or equal to L2, okay, it sets it up for you. Come back here to our main, and you'll see in this case what we have, we've got, if the counter value is less than or equal to 25, power level 1 is selected. If the counter value is between 25 and 50, power level 2 is selected. Now we have an overlap here. If the range is between 40 and 75, power level 3. Now you may have a conflict then with two power levels being selected at the same time, at which point you would change this number right here 
to 51 so that you would not have any overlap. Now finally we have a greater than 75 so from 76 up power level 4 will be selected.